Greg Lawrence, CBS Sports Radio Roundup, and today is Waiver Wire Tuesday. Here's segment one. We're going to be talking wide receivers. There's been plenty of disappointments thus far in the 2016 season, and we add another one to that list in Alshon Jeffrey, who's already having an uncharacteristically bad year for himself. He suspended four games due to PED use. And now we look at the wide receiver position and Cam Meredith comes to the forefront once again and he becomes a viable instant fantasy option once again here in 2016. With Alshon Jeffrey out, I think Jay Cutler is going to have no choice but to turn to Cam Meredith. He's only given him two targets in the last three weeks. Yeah, that, that's not good and he seemed to only have eyes for Alshon Jeffrey. Now he's going to have to turn his eyes over to Cam Meredith because he's going to have to get some targets if the Bears want to be even any sort of relevant. Yeah, they got run over by the Tampa Bay Bucks last week. But still, if you want to be viable in the passing game, you're going to have to look to Cam Meredith. He's a big, tall frame. You don't have Alshon Jeffrey in there anymore. It's going to be a lot of Cam Meredith. And Zach Miller moving forward for the Chicago Bears. Now moving over to another wide receiver who I love his matchup this week after the Green Bay Packers got, yeah, those Green Bay Packers right there. Not all of them, just one of the two of them that are still on the team right now. One not playing in Clay Matthews, and that makes a even more of an argument for me why to play this wide receiver. Go pick him up if he's available, especially if you have a bye week or you have some injured wide receivers or some outperform, underperforming. Wide, wide receivers. So you look at a guy like Pierre Garçon, Packers, Redskins this weekend. Kurt Cousins has been playing well. He's been looking for Pierre Garçon. He was their leading wide receiver last week. Six catches on 10 targets for 81 yards. And like I said, dream matchup with the Green Bay Packers secondary at, at times. Their three top cornerbacks have been out. One came back, I believe it was in Quentin Rollins last week, but that really didn't do too much for the Tennessee Titans. They continued to stop the Green Bay Packers, and really beat up on their beaten and battered defense. The line hasn't been great. They haven't been stopping the run, and they have certainly not been stopping the pass. The wide receiver, the linebacking corps have been extremely average. So I look at Pierre Garçon as a guy you can go out there and target. He's only 24% owned, so if you see him on that waiver wire, you need a wide receiver. He's got a great matchup this week. I would stream him in if possible. That's segment number one, a waiver wire Tuesday for the week 11 edition. I'm Greg Larned of CBS Sports Radio Roundup.